Think about it. He's got good genes. I'm naturally talented in music, you know? Back then, my guitar alone attracted, like, countless girls around me. You're so shameless, you know that? You even take credit for your son's success. <laughs> Unbelievable. A mature man's charm can only be appreciated over time. It's all thanks to that kid, you know. Prepare a thousand you and Red Pocket for me later. How about we give the kid a contract? That is out of the question. If we do that, his dad will kill me. What did you say? I'll eat you after killing you. Hi. Look at what you've done. Why are you here? When did you get back? How are things in Australia? Why didn't you call me? I could have picked you up. Priorities, <laughs> man. What? Are you saying that you came back from Australia together? I wasn't able to get a ticket, so Miss Lin drove me here. Yeah. <laughs> you went there for an interview, then what's this thing on your face? What happened to you? Excuse us. <laughs> Listen, if you, uh, if you have a thing for her, just tell me. I would give way. I will not get in the way of you two. Come on, what are you saying? Okay, tell you what. I suggest you be careful if you have a thing for her, got it? Think about it twice or even thrice. But you came back from Australia together. What am I going to think? And I know you very well, Jack, so I have to ask that question. Let me explain. She was heartbroken. Yeah? She vented out on me. That's the entire truth. I am not lying. And we only came back together because I failed to get a ticket. You can even check with her. Besides, she was worried about Harry. You know she's his teacher. I don't have a thing for her. Oh, stop. Stop. better My than... goodness! You were such a freak, you know that? I haven't said anything to defend myself from anyone yet. Why are you so defensive? She's right. You're a divorced old man. Are you afraid? She's the one who should be defensive. <sighs> uh... Anyway, I'm afraid I can't leave now. How about we meet at the hotel? Come on, go with her. She must be tired. Don't fall for her. I didn't say anything. <clears throat> Who is it? Code words! Tigers are no match for dragons! A jackass must be kept in check. No, Uncle Phil. Come in, <laughs> come in. Mm, you're back so early. Why are you back so early? You didn't even say goodbye. You hiding a girl here? No, no. I think I sank too much and my throat hurt so I went straight back. I decided not to wait for you anymore. I know there must be a reason behind this. 
Are you afraid that we'll catch you? Oh, I'm not afraid at all. They've come here, is that what you're saying? Because I think I just saw them. Tell you what, I'm so angry right now. He didn't even call me when he was in Australia. The thing is, your dad is not good at... that stuff. Expressing himself. He hates to open up with me. <laughs> Easy there. Here is a thousand yuan. It's a small reward for helping me tonight. Spend it however you like. Take it. Here. A thousand? The pay is so hey. good. I could work as your assistant with a pay like that. Give it to me. Hey, wait a second. I haven't finished yet. There's no performance tomorrow. Go buy something you want. Also, young people normally don't get paid so well. Don't make too much money. All right, all right. You know, we may talk about money all the time, but actually we don't really care about it. You guys are loaded to the brim, and it seems like money is all you think about. <laughs> anyway, um, I'll take the money. Let me know if you need me. I need to sleep right now, but I'll take a shower first. Bye, Uncle. Keep it safe. Okay, bye. Tell old Jack Hey there, that. come out! There's no one else! Tell old Jack I'm going to sleep, okay? Okay. Good. Fine. Remember to lock the door. Where's Harry? Asleep. It's still early. I plan to talk to him. It's been a long day, and it's also very late now. We can talk to him tomorrow. I think he's right. You can't be too rash on this matter. Because if we hurt his pride now, it'll be harder to know what he thinks. <sighs> then I suggest we block his door tomorrow morning. I know that brat. He'll flee given the chance. Just don't bother the boy tonight. You can do whatever you want tomorrow, understood? Oh, but seriously speaking, the kid is very good. You saw that. He's very talented, you can tell. Everybody can tell. How about you let him work with me, Jack? I mean, he worked with me a day, but he's already caused a sensation. If he worked for me, he could become my successor. It can happen. Come on, no way. He's a straight-A student. He should go back to school to study. You can't just let a kid perform on stage. Hey, this is child exploitation. <laughs> Why don't you let the dad talk? You don't get to decide. Fine. Guys, I'm going to talk now. The reason I came back from Australia is that I want him back in school. I came up with a plan. If I get a job offer from Alpha Airlines and I get to work there, I'll find a school for him in Australia. If he wants to learn music, I'll find a good music school for him. I haven't even asked him if he wants to follow my footsteps. But you want him to become a performer? A folk artist, huh? Are you kidding me? We're not folk artists. My troupe has been constantly performing in major cities around the world. We're actually a huge thing. Wait a sec. What? You just said you want to let Harry study in Australia. Have you asked him what he thinks about it? Right. Have you asked the kid? She's right. You should ask him for his opinion. Don't just decide. Not everyone can tolerate you like I could. I... I haven't talked to him about this officially. But he didn't stop me when I went for the interview. I think you should talk to him about this first. Maybe he has his own ideas. Oh. I need to take this call. Don't stay up late. Sure. <laughs> you have a good night. Come on. Have you ever cared about me like this? Olivia, how are you doing? Anyway, I saw that Susan Wang proposed to my brother. Are you all right? Don't worry about me. This is not gonna kill me. I'm sorry, Olivia. I apologize to you on behalf of my brother. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You are not him. You don't need to apologize. Maybe when I get married, I should thank him for dumping me. Have you come back home yet? Yeah, I'm already back, but I have something to do. I think I can come home tomorrow. Okay, when you come back, let's have a drink, okay? So we can celebrate our lawsuit winning against Fanny Ting. Fanny Ting? She really gave up so easily? She had to. She had no better choice. The evidence was solid, and I was well prepared for battle. Anyway, you should get some rest. Take care, okay? Don't be sad.
everything you prepared was useless. We lost the case. Just because of some photos and some receipts. How's that for inefficient? Huh? This is really not because I couldn't do a good job. It's all because she did a better job. Actually, the conditions are very favorable for you. The company's shares are still yours. You won't lose a penny at all. Your ex-husband is better than you at work. Why not leave the company to him and reap the benefits without having to work? Isn't that a lot better? I can't give up now. You lost because you're not up to the task. Stop making excuses. All right. If you really think that, there are always other lawyers. Is that your way of quitting? I think I'd better fire you instead. Huh. Thank you very much for letting me go, madam. But before I leave your house, I have a little gift for you. You asked me to investigate on Olivia Lin. Well, I did that. She doesn't have skeletons in the closet. But I think one thing is very interesting. She is actually related to President O. Oh. She's his daughter. Their family. Protecting his daughter. I complained about her. So he was defensive. Time to get up. It's seven o'clock. We agreed last night, remember? We're gonna block Harry's door this morning so he can't escape from us. Get ready. I'll be waiting. I'm in the restaurant. I woke up early, just waiting for your call. Darn you, darn your son, darn both of you! Whatever did I do to you? Can you just let me sleep? I'm so tired. Who is it? Too early for the housekeeper. Hey. Wow, all of you are here. Good morning. Thank you for visiting. Harry? Pack your things. We're going home. Whoa! Is that a wound on your face? Did you fight a gangster or a girl? Come on, I won't judge. Do you think it's funny? Is that it? <laughs> is that your way of cracking a joke? Did we laugh? He is. I am not. He's not. Tell me, what did I tell you before? We had a deal, you'll focus on school. Why are you here? I was treated unfairly for the fight. After Miss Lin left, Miss Wong kept letting me write self-evaluations one after another. I'm tired and I won't go back there. I thought the problem had been taken care of. What's going on? What's he saying? I talked to them before I left. Oh, I know. Maybe because I was gone? Ivy Wong's dad played some tricks again. I'll see to it when I get back. Could you not keep up with it? Even if you got wronged, you shouldn't just run away. There's a long road ahead of you. You should learn to be brave and don't run away from it. I'm not going back to school. No way. I'm not going back. Fine, I won't force you. Pack your things now. Let's go home first. You told me I should finish what I started. And now, I've already taken the money, okay? This is a career. I have to perform tomorrow. Hey kid, I should have taken you back home last night. But I was too kind to you, and I didn't want to disturb your sleep. How about we let Harry perform tonight? It's just one night. Where are your principles? Why did we travel so far to come here? You're so fickle-minded. You gave me your word. Okay, I see. He's your student. This is how you taught him, right? He can't do this. Mad Dog's Bite. I took this gig from Uncle Phil, and I've taken the money. Don't you feel ashamed at all? I was in the music industry too. I know what a good singer's like, and you're not good. Not as good as I was, you know that? Don't discourage him, Jack. He's much more talented than you. <clears throat> don't blame it on me. I don't deserve it. 
Are you upset because it took you this long to realize I'm important and you've only sent me one photo all those weeks you were gone? Just one! So stop pretending to be kind, okay? You just want to find a new job to get rid of me. Harry, you got your dad all wrong. He really cares about you. He's looking for a school for you in Australia. Did I ask him to do that? Did I beg him to do that? Did he ask if I want that? I don't want to study in Australia. Don't think his fake kindness can move me and make me cry. No, that's not happening. No. You can all go now. I won't go with you. I'll work in music. Got it? Got it? I need to practice now, so go. Harry. Harry. Hey. Let's go. Hey, what are you doing? No, let's let go. go. Hey, what are you doing? Let what go. are you doing, Jack? Let go of my hey, guitar. Stop hey. it. My mom gave me that guitar. Look what you've done with it. Jack. Harry, you can't just push your dad like that. Are you okay? Are you okay? Come on, he didn't do it on purpose. You can have it repaired, okay? Go home with your dad. Okay? Driven over 200 kilometers, can you still manage? Just look at your friend. I don't think I have a choice. Don't you feel ashamed? How can you let a woman drive that far? Be a gentleman. It's fine, I can manage. Okay, but be careful, all right? Take turns if you need to. What's going on? Uh, are you hurt? I'm fine. Ma, you can't I drink. You're on medication. Fine. I can get up by myself. Don't help me. Get up. <gasps> okay, careful. Oh, I lost everything to Zojo. Now you and I have nothing. Ma, let Dad go and go easy on yourself, okay? Stop torturing yourself and live a steady life. Don't you think I want that kind of life, huh? But some people are making things hard for me! Listen to this fact. Your head teacher, Olivia Lin, is President O's daughter. What? How's that possible? Who told you this, Ma? <laughs> you see, Mr. Bai may have lost the lawsuit, but his information is reliable. There was a time she changed her name into Olivia Lin. And then she started teaching at Walton International School because she's related to the school president. It's a good thing I had people investigate her. Otherwise, all of you, all of you would have been kept in the dark about it. I have to go to the school today. People like her can't ruin your future. Hey, don't, Ma. What do you want? She may lose her job if you do that. Maybe she just wants to lay low and conceal her identity. Is that illegal? Zed, what do you mean? No, Ma, don't wait, touch calm me. down. Listen, Zed. You must take my side! I'm your mother, I'm telling you to take my side! You can't stand against me this time, do you understand? Uh, I'm not against you. But I won't help you ruin someone either. She did tutor me and took the money we paid her. But she returned it long ago! You're lying! Where's the money? I'm not lying. I spent the money, I spent all of it. No, son, you're lying! You, you just want to protect that woman! I knew you wouldn't believe me, but Ma... I suggest don't go to our school, or you'd not only embarrass yourself, but also me. What is that? Put it over there! <sighs> okay. I'll get water for you. Don't go anywhere. I don't need it.
You really think I'm your driver? The silence is killing me. Can you say something, please? Hey, Harry. Why don't you sing a song for us? Guitar's broken. I can't. I know someone who can fix it. He's a good luthier. I can ask him to take a good look at your guitar. Maybe he can fix it. It won't cost you much. It's not about money at all. What's broken is already broken. Even if it's repaired, it's going to be different. My guitar won't be like before. Miss Lin, from your professional point of view, can you blame me for what I did? All I know is, a clever student will focus on his studies. Huh, <laughs> some guy streaming. He thinks he's smart, but he isn't. He's actually a big airhead. Clever men always seem dumb. But they'll never say that other people are dumb. Some guy's too smart for his own good. He thinks he's smart, but he doesn't make sense. Spewing nonsense. Can you stop beating around the bush? You can trade insults directly, and don't talk to me. I'm driving. Oh, this coming from someone who wanted us to talk to her. Gotta go buy something. Sure. <sighs> Your dad is going through a tough time. If he changes his job, he'll lose all his social connections and needs to do some major adjusting. It's not easy. What's more, he's only doing this to give you a better life. A better life? Sure, he thinks it's better. But he doesn't know what I want at all. He never really took me seriously. He, he has always made decisions by himself and never discussed anything with me. <sighs> that is a bit too one-sided. If he didn't care about you, why would he go to you directly after he got off the plane? Put yourself in his shoes. You're living with a guy. Don't you know that he's actually soft inside? Well, that guy has been away for so long, but he just sent me one message. Did he really care about me? When Miss Wang let me write all those things, I called him. But he didn't take my calls. What else can I say? Maybe he was just busy. That must be it. He was taking three exams, so he was busy. Actually, everything went well. But then he heard about you. He heard you skipped school and ran away. You can stop defending him. No matter what happened, he shouldn't have ruined my guitar. My mom bought that guitar for me. It's the most important thing in my life. But now it's broken. You saw it. He did let go of the guitar, right? But when he loosened his grip on it, you lost balance. If he knew how important it was, he wouldn't dare touch it. Do you have any plasters? I'm sorry, we only have band-aids. How about safflower oil? You know, for sprains and bruises? We don't have any. We mainly sell groceries and some emergency daily necessities. Okay, how much for those? Oh, yes. Why are you walking like that? What's the matter? I've been sitting for too long. Really? I've been the one driving, but I don't feel tired. On our way back, the plane was bumpy. I felt that something hit my back, but I didn't mind it. It got serious when someone pushed me. I think it sprained. Don't worry, I'll rub something on it later. Anyway, Miss Lin, eat something. Here.
He hasn't eaten for a while. You obviously bought these for him. If you care about him so much, then give it to him. He'll probably eat the bags as well. You are unbelievable, I tell you. All right, go upstairs and pack your stuff. I'll see you in school later. Miss Lin, listen, from now on, I'm not going to school. That's not gonna happen, okay? I agreed to come back here, yes. But it doesn't mean I'll obey everything you tell me to do. I'm not gonna give in. I'm gonna go on finding a job this afternoon. If he doesn't want to go to school, just let him be. What are you saying, Jack? Who's the one not staying true to his word right now? You change your mind so quickly. Anyway, thank you for driving us all the way here. Thank you very much, you are a good teacher. I was actually thinking about it. He refused to be punished. Because he didn't approve of your school's philosophy. Since we can't force him. Maybe it's better to let him have his way. How come you've decided to be on his side? Okay, this trip turned out to be a waste. Wendy? Jack! Are you really leaving, Jack? Easy. Why, Please Jack? be careful. No. Easy. Why are you leaving? I heard that you're leaving. Why are you here? I told you I'm leaving. Uh, does everyone know about that? That was the day that you came back. It couldn't be a coincidence. I'm not stupid, Jack. Don't do this to me. Let the news end here, okay? Don't spread it further. Nothing's for certain yet. I'll probably not leave. My back's aching so bad. Oh, what's wrong with you? Let me help you upstairs. No need. It's been a long trip and we're tired. We haven't showered and we stink. It's time we freshen up a little. You can stay here. <gasps> how could you talk to me like... Did you see how he treated me? Come on, it's tit for tat. You said the same thing to him the other day. Now get your case and do what he said. Or you'll fight with each other. I'll see you off. Jack, Come let on. me help you upstairs. No, I'm okay. You just want to drive me away. Mom, it's not like that. Did you hurt your back during the last accident? Yeah, but it didn't hurt much that time. But then I hit it again. Now it hurts. You know you can't work if your back hurts that badly. You need to go see a doctor. I'll go with you, Jack. It's fine. I just need a rest for a few days. It hurts. This is as far as I can go. Take care, Wendy. Could you let me know in advance if you change jobs so that I can prepare myself? Prepare yourself for what? I want to go wherever you go. I don't think I'm going anywhere. So don't talk about it anymore. Remember, don't mention it to anyone. Sorry. I broke your guitar. Please forgive me. But don't forget that you pushed me, okay? Do you know what that is? This is what they call rebellion. If I hadn't changed, I'd beat you up. Guess we're even now. We're not even. My mom gave me that guitar. Since you're young, I'll let it go for your mom's sake. Do you even know how to repair that? You might just make it worse than it already is. Do you know how I attracted your mom's attention? I happened to play the guitar really well, and I looked awesome. This is easy. Child's play. See? Stop acting. Who's acting? It's not ruined. It's just a string. When I have time, I'll get a new string. Keep it. At least for now.
Why did you put this rubbish on my bed? You're going to Australia anyway. You won't stay here for too long. I'll use it as storage. I'll put my stuff on it. You said you want me to go to study in Australia. Now here's my official reply. You don't need to include me in your future plans. I won't go to Australia, nor will I study there. It's a dead end at your school. Don't you want to leave? A new environment is better. Maybe it is a dead end, but that doesn't mean I need to leave. Something you can't leave behind? The environment in Australia is better. You can study music there, not a problem. But my mom lived here. You're not selling this house because you feel grandma in here, right? through them alive. It's great to have you back. Mm. Why did you go to Phoenix City? Hmm? It's a long story. Because of Harry Shaw. He didn't want to go to school, so he joined a troupe to perform on stage. <sighs> His dad and I, all the way to Phoenix City. That's driving hundreds of kilometers, right? Hmm, looks like you're really a dedicated teacher. But it turns out that trip was for nothing. Those two are as stubborn as old mules. <sighs> I won't meddle in their issues again. I'm done, I don't care. I wish what you said would come true. I do. I promise. Or you can call me a cheater. Deal. But then you and Jack are destined to meet each other, even as far as Australia, you know? He went there for a job. Mm -hmm. But I really owed him a favor. I got wasted drunk and broke a sculpture in the hotel. He paid for the damage I caused. He was pretty useful this time, huh? <laughs> but um, when and how do you plan to explain things to Miss Wang? I don't think you can escape that part now. You're colleagues, so you're bound to talk one way or another. She's the one who should worry about that. She should think about how she can face me. But I'll try my best not to let this thing affect my work. Mm -hmm. Let's get something to eat. I'm not going. I need to clean my room. You go ahead. Okay, I'll just get you some takeaway. Where are you going? Job hunting. To support this family. the gifts your brother gave me, and all the things that remind me of him. Please throw them all away. Or donate them. I don't want them anymore. Sure. Consider it done. How about we go outside to have fun this afternoon? Or a party? I'm not in the mood to do any of that. Besides, Angel, I overspent during the trip. I need to cut spending. My treat. Yes, I got you. Hey, it's fine. It's not you. You don't need to make up for anything. I should thank him. Because of him, I realized how important my job is. 
In that case, I sincerely hope that you can recover from this bad mood as soon as you can. I know I will. I can get over this. Besides, setbacks will only make us stronger. <laughs> it's me and my career now. I have to work hard. Gotta eat! From what I see in the x-ray, the facet joint dislocation has started to cause symptoms of nerve root stimulation. Your legs feel numb? Um, yeah. It's also hard to turn my body sideways. Sometimes it hurts when I try to turn around. How long? Three days? Unbelievable. Why didn't you come earlier? If you don't get this treated, it might seriously affect your daily life. So will it affect my work? From what I see, it's not that serious. But it would be better to rest for a few days and get physiotherapy every day to stimulate the blood circulation in this particular area. Is there okay? a faster way? I mean, like, can I possibly massage it myself? Oh, please don't do that. You have to leave this to a professional therapist. Given your situation, if you don't get it treated the proper way, it might end up affecting your job in the long run. Anyway, let me give you a prescription first. You need to take these medicines and come back every day for physiotherapy. Mr. Chung. Jack, you've come back. So did it go well? Uh, I've been dealing with Harry since I got back, so I haven't told you yet. Well, um, the exam went well. <sighs> I told you you'd pass the test, right? I actually have some good news for you. Your suspension is over. Although, I promised you that you can leave. But our company is going through some trouble. We need extra manpower. The accident is still under investigation, which means Chu and King are not allowed to fly. I heard about that. It's not due to human error. I believe they shouldn't be blamed for that. Right. It's being investigated. Several passengers had minor injuries. If more passengers were injured, they'd have to deal with a lot more. The management is not very... satisfied with your performance. But we happen to need more pilots now. After reassessing your aeronautical experience and ability, They've actually agreed to let you fly again. They do not want to lose a talent like you. Now that I've told you this, I hope you can consider it. This is better than job hopping. Sounds like you're... not very happy. No. I'm happy. I'm in the hospital. I sprained my back. Wait, a sprain? It is serious. No, it's nothing serious, but I need to get physiotherapy. Oh, that's good to know. You're still one of our employees. So when do you think you can come back to work? Maybe in a few days. Sitting too long might do more harm. Okay. While you're in therapy, I want you to think about what I just said. Okay. No problem. Everything is in this pile. Tell them to correct the right parts and nothing else. I'll check it later. No problem. Okay. See you. Sure. If... if you had said something, if you'd told me as soon as it happened, I would have definitely gone to Australia with you. It's fine. It's all in the past now. We're still colleagues. That's it? Uh, are you serious? After all, my daughter Susan has always been one of the top students in her class. I'm sure you knew that your boyfriend had those tendencies, yet you still let him help her. You did this. You put the cat beside the fishbowl. So, are you saying... It's my fault that your daughter stole my boyfriend? Is that what you mean? Stole? What do you mean, stole? People only steal good things, but if it's a bad thing... On the other hand, you're also a victim. I understand that you're hurt and upset. But why did you let my daughter become a victim too when you could have helped her? So you think Susan is not responsible at all and she hasn't done anything wrong? Of course I don't think she did anything wrong. I raised her myself. She's a brilliant student, and she's never hurt others. It's not her fault. This is all Andy Yes' fault. He fooled all of us. And he's probably looking for his next victim. I have nothing to say to you. But Excuse it me. It was Andy Ye who fooled all of us, wasn't it? Dad, I'm back. Um... Good. President Oh, I... I... I'm done with my concern. I'm going back to teaching today. Great timing. You can teach classes later. We need to deal with something first. Oh, 
Call him dad, it's perfectly fine. Oh, there's really no need to hide it. We're already aware of your big secret, so don't worry. I just didn't expect that. A school as huge as Walton International would open the back door.会有个人成为你的远方。